Welcome to Divine Lotus Tarot. We are going to be taking a look at those of you who are males who have significant placements of Libra in your birth chart before we get into your pre-messages and then your tarot reading. I want to invite you all to book with me at my website www.divinelotustarot.com for your own personal private session. That way we can look further into any inquiries you have. I specialize in love and romance. I do career readings, past life readings, and I do general readings where you could um, ask any particular questions pertaining to yourself um, outside of the realm of the spreads that I offer. You can go to my website and look over my s different spreads and services that I offer along with the pricing. And if you don't see anything that um, is of interest to you or you have something outside of what I am listing in regards to a particular type of tarot special service that you have questions um, to see if I would be able to assist you with you can just go ahead and fill out the book now form and enter your question um, in the comment section and submit it and I'll get back to you within like 48 hours okay um, also I want to invite you all to support and follow my other social media sites and you can find that information below this video as well all right Libra male so we're gonna go ahead and get into your reading I have some pre messages for you all so um, I'm getting that for some of you 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 may have significant placements of Scorpio Gemini yeah Scorpio and Gemini in your birth chart is what I'm picking up. Yeah, significant places of Scorpio and Gemini in your birth chart. Um, I'm also picking up with your pre-messages that energetically wise, I was getting the sense that someone um, is doing magic on you. So, it feels like someone's trying to like alter your perception or alter your reality in regards to some type of situation. I did have energies coming up that you do have individuals around you where this could be pertaining to, it could be a Taurus individual who you may have had some type of um, personal type of close relationship with or like someone who could be potentially like a secret enemy. Um, for some of you, this could be someone who may have um, they may be an Aries, okay? Or they got significant placements of Aries in their birth chart. Um, but yeah, I, I felt like someone was doing magic on you all. And then, um, getting into your pre-messages, I see some of you are really focused on your physical appearance for this group of you that I'm talking about. Some of you could be, like, working out, Okay. I feel like some of you could have joined a gym or you may be considering joining a, like a gym or some type of workout class or some type of um, physical training or physical fitness or something that's going to allow you to get into physical fitness is what I'm picking up. So you're either already doing this or some of you are considering this. Um, I'm missing one. Okay. I'm hearing anonymity. Give me a moment. Okay, so um, I just looked that up and it just means the state of being nameless or anonymous or something to that nature. So that could pertain to you in some form or fashion. But besides all that, um, what I'm seeing is some of you could be... Um, working on yourself working on your your physical your physical body okay um that could be a highlight for some of you i'm also seeing as well too that some of you also could be becoming more aware of the individuals who you spend time with so you could be maybe realizing that maybe some of the individuals who you hang around or you associate with um like you need to change the quality of people who you hang around um 
so I feel like some of you are like learning major lessons or you're maturing or you're growing up you could be outgrowing people or the, or the types of groups or things that you used to associate with okay I'm also picking up let me see that I feel like relationships are a focal point for a lot of you um but I feel like you're some of you are having challenges around relationships as well too um now I feel like when it comes to ro romantic relationships you you could have a crush on someone um for some of you there could be an age gap for some of you between by, between you and this individual some of you may be significantly more older in years than this individual is what I'm getting but then I also feel like some of you have a, a significantly like different nature than this individual as well too because this person seems to be a little bit more free nature or free spirited or just more independent they could be an independent thinker or something of that nature This could be someone who's single and some of you are not single. But if the person is not single for some of you, then this person just carries that, like, like a very independent energy in nature. I also see for some of you, your there could be blockings with your ability to generate, like, the types of good fortune that you want. Um, and I feel like this has to do with maybe some of you having, like, bad relationships. Um, I feel like that pertains to things that you have said or things that you have done could be hampering your your blessings, your fortune, your money right now. So I feel like there, I mean, that might be an area that you might want to look into, like repairing relationships where you have um, caused some type of disharmony or some type of discord. Because I feel like you could be getting karma for that is what I'm picking up. I also was picking up the energy that there are a few group of you where you're having people do black magic on you, right? For others of you, you're doing black magic on other people. And then for another group of you, like at one point in time, you were or you may still be doing black magic on individuals. And there are people doing black magic on you because of that. So that's what I'm picking up as well too I also see as well too I keep hearing unencumbered okay so however that resonates to you um so maybe some of you want to be unencumbered maybe you want to be free some of you might want to break free from a relationship okay um I'm also getting the energy as well too that some of you could be wanting to like res revive some area of your life um, this also goes back to that Scorpio energy that I was picking up. That's, this may be pertaining to, especially for those of you who have Scorpio placements. Um, you could be wanting to revive some area of your life. For some of you, this is like love and romance for you. For some of you, this is just like a particular area that you um, just kind of want to revive in your life. That maybe it's been a really long time since you've done it. For others of you, this could just be a relationship with another individual. But maybe it's not romantic. It could be like like a family member or something of that nature I feel like for some of you you're having difficulty um around some type of particular relationship this could be someone in your household someone you have a family with someone in your neighborhood or community or something of that nature for some of you this is particularly where I'm picking up the group of you who keep doing black magic on other individuals which it could be this particular person and um, as I've already noted before in previous like readings and things of that nature, black magic does not always have to pertain to, you know, someone standing over a pot saying boil, boil, toil and trouble. It could be any form of magic where, yeah, you're using spiritual um, resources and tools and things of that nature to do um, black magic. It could also be you talking down on someone um whether they know about it or not gossiping lying slandering other individuals 
um it could be you praying negatively about someone like wishing ill will on someone projecting negative energy sending someone the evil eye hating on someone being jealous envying someone um wanting someone else's life um it could also be you just imagining like in your mind like terrible things happening to someone so i mean that's black magic okay um and I feel like for some of you, you could be doing this to this particular individual because you feel like this person does not want to have a relationship with you. Um, or it's hard for you to, like, have a relationship with this person. Um, yeah. I feel like, like, for some of you, you have a codependent nature. So you could be, like codependent and you might be relying on this person for some type of reason whether it's money energy or something else but that's something personally you would need to deal with within yourself um no one is obligated to be in a relationship with you especially if um your energies don't align or match up because i'm seeing for some of you you could be like very like rigid very you could be very mean, very harsh, very cold, um, unemotional, have a very aloof, detached type of nature, almost like Aquarian type energy, like, but not in a positive light for Aquarian energy. So this could be like, maybe more negative, dark side Aquarian type of energy is what I'm picking up. Um, but I, yeah, I definitely feel like some of you could be like very set in your ways very stubborn very set in your ways you think your way is the right way and it's interesting because you keep trying to force someone to be in a relationship with you that either a doesn't want to be in a relationship with you or there's something about you that may be toxic that you need to heal within yourself and it's not allowing um like the universe is not allowing you and these in this person or these individuals to come into contact because there's something about you that you haven't healed within yourself that you need to heal personally you keep trying to connect with someone else thinking that someone else is supposed to heal you and that's not someone else's job to heal you that's your own personal job to love on yourself or to heal yourself or to um essentially take care of yourself um So whatever you keep trying to look outside of yourself for, you need to go within. I feel for some of you, you are being kind of um, forced to maybe be alone right now for reflective energy, meaning you need to go within. Like this is this this is not for you to be focusing your energy outwardly, doing black magic to try to force or bend someone to your will. This is a period of time for you to be looking within and seeing what areas of yourself do you need to you know correct okay whatever you're hurting whatever you're lacking whatever you're feeling um you need to change like you you need to do that for yourself instead of trying to get other people to bend to your your um traits or characteristics especially if it does not align with whoever you're trying to have a relationship with Nobody wants to be bullied or dominated into a submissive relationship with anyone um, unwillingly. You, you get what I mean? Like if, if, if that's someone's like kink and fetish, then that's, you know, that's a whole different topic and this a whole different subject. But as far as, you know, you just trying to like bully someone to, into having a relationship with you, like nobody wants to be bullied or dominated or oppressed or suppressed okay that's that's very slave masterish type of energy and i feel like that's where that type of black magic is getting into like when you keep trying to like force someone to be in a relationship with you that either like i said clearly a does not want to be in a relationship with you or b um you there's just something about you that you need to be working on healing and you're not getting the message that you're supposed to be working on yourself. You're not supposed to be looking outside of yourself, projecting on other people. You're supposed to be focusing on how can you help yourself or how can you find the help that you need to, um, you know, 
to 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 be to be healed in in that sense but not trying to um put your suppressive type of energy on someone else okay it's like because you're restricted you want someone else to be restricted and it's like well maybe that's not that person's nature if that if a, if someone else is more free spirited and you're more restrictive and you don't share similar beliefs values or principles then you need to learn to move on but you can't force someone to try to do what you do or see something your way that's not how that works you either accept someone as they are or you keep it moving but you can't force someone to do something the way that you think that things are supposed to be done because that's how you've done it okay well that's not how everybody else operates okay so everybody has a right to operate in the mean that they want to if you want to be restricted if you want to limit yourself if you want to carry that type of energy that's more rigid and fixed that's good for you but if there's another individual who's more open-minded they're free natured um and they're not restricted to the same type of limitations and they don't put that on themselves that you or other people put on them they're entitled to that as well too simple as that that's just how it works you don't have to like or res you know you don't have to like how someone else chooses to um live their life but it's their life to live they're not if they're not impending on your free will which means they're not impending on you being able to be who you are then you mind your business and let them mind their business right and carry on but I see some of you want to have a relationship with this person and you're trying to force this person to have a relationship with you and that's that's just not going to work and black magic you don't do black magic to try to force someone to to connect with you because it's coming up as karma and I'm seeing the karma how it's coming up in your life is showing up as bad health so if some of you are experiencing bad health if some of you are are experiencing limited feeling limited or restricted that that's the reason why because that same energy that you're putting out you're getting it back in the form of karma in those in those form of formats as well as negatively impacting your finances is what I'm seeing besides all of that let's get into the cards for some brief messages before we wrap this reading up okay so for some of you I'm definitely seeing um, that you want to move towards like you could be going through like a death and rebirth type of energy in your life right now okay and I see some of you are wanting to move away from some type of um, energy uh, for some of you this could be and the devil energy kept coming up so you could be in an environment that could be toxic you could be maybe um, this could be your energy that maybe the type of activities you indulge in or you could be in an environment that is a very kind of toxic or just very low vibrational restricted suppressive type of uh, an environment or this could be another person okay or people around you who hold this type of energy around you that you just no longer want to resonate with I see for some of you you're wanting to break free and move away from these connections okay because I feel like you, there is for some of you when it comes to love and romance there's a new person who you're wanting to go towards is what I'm seeing um, it's almost like you want to do this very discreetly okay um and go towards this this new individual when it pertains to love and romance for some of you this is a person from your past that you want to reconnect with in a love and romance type of relationship and you want to go back towards this person i feel like you've been waiting for some time um to go back towards this individual you could have held long feelings for this individual all the while that you were away from them um 
so it's almost like absence made the heart grow fonder for you all but I feel like for like majority of all you Libra males that you seem to be um, in a relationship of some sort whether you have a title or not like there there's some type of sense of you being um, you're attached to someone or, the, or there are people attached to you put it like that um, so if you're not claiming these people well you got plenty of people claiming you um, or plenty of people that like I just feel like a lot of you have a lot of like soul ties um, for some of you um, but I see for some of you you, you do want to go towards either a, a past love or you want to go towards someone new that you've had your eyes on for a really long time okay and then for others of you where it's not love and love and romance i just feel like there's some area of your life that you want to move towards so this could be maybe some of you wanting to move in the direction of a new career and you may want to like kind of discreetly do this um it just kind of seems like whatever you were doing or whoever you have been around it just kind of seems like things have just kind of hit the fan and it feels like it's no longer working for you and you're trying to either get out before it negatively impacts you or you're trying to get away from some type of situation it's almost like you don't want to have anything to do with whatever is going on um, when the dust settles or you don't want to be associated with this um, but I'm seeing a huge tower moment so something is about to some something is about to come down okay so th for some of you this could be a relationship that is getting dissolved okay that you're you're moving from and then you're going to be moving into another connection is what i'm seeing you already have an another connection that you want to move into for others of you this could just be like work like it could be work it, it's almost like the way that you're leaving one job and going to the next it's almost like a very explosive transition um is is what it, it looks like It's giving me the vibe of like maybe some of you where it's like it's kind of passive aggressive but it kind of gives me the vibe where if this is like love and romance let's say the type of energy where someone starts an argument just so they could break up with someone but you already had someone in mind who you wanted to go to already versus just having to sit down with someone saying that you no longer want to be with them now I get in the case for some of you the devil energy kept coming up so you may be around someone who may be very low vibrational they could be very toxic so you might have to you know be a little bit more strategic about your exit you know what I'm saying because of the nature of the individual that you're dealing with you know you might not feel that you could just have a decent conversation with this type of person you know this might be someone who is um what's the word they're not they're not capable of just being able to have an adult and mature conversation okay this could be someone who they they can um get riled up very quickly or yeah get take things to to another level like very fast so i can see why some of you you know maybe leaving or moving forward or ex planning you know to remove yourself from the situation whatever this is in the manner that you're doing it but for others of you um it could just be more of a passive nature and and you just don't want to essentially deal with the repercussions of having to address someone and face them and let them know that you don't want to to leave but yeah for a lot of you uh, yeah I, I definitely can see that wh whoever this is it's like um you know it'll be like a big thing 
if if you directly approach this person um they're going to make it way more than what it needs to be it's almost like it's not going to be peaceful yeah it's almost like the type of nature where this could be someone who likes to cause a scene or like i said they they, they just um are going to amp it up and take it to a whole nother level like they're not going to take kindly to or just logically you know just be able to like mentally accept this could be someone who mentally has um a problem accepting like closure or moving on and things of that nature okay then for others of you it just feels like a time of some type of like it feels like endings for new beginnings okay so there's definitely like death energy here like something is being cleared away so that new can come in i feel like for some of you there's going to be endings in several different factors or facets in your life for some of you this is you ending like i said relationships with people who you feel like no longer resonate with who you are where you are where you're headed in your life and it's probably for the better um, because maybe for some of you you're realizing that these people are just not savory individuals who you should be hanging around because you might accrue bad karma hanging around these types of individuals for others of you i am getting jail or prison energy so either you're you might be going to jail or prison or someone around you might be going to jail or prison is what i'm picking up okay um and then i'm also getting the energy of someone could be f meeting and their lost long father so maybe for some of you you were told that like your father like passed away um and some of you may come to learn that that your dad is actually alive and then for others of you i see some of you finally like coming out of a period of um being ashamed to express your vulnerability and you may be like really finding the courage to um let someone know like how you feel about them is what i'm getting so i'm seeing like you might do a very bold or very loud or a very um what's that called like a very um public like declarance of your affection or your love for someone but i just feel like this may be a period of time of um where you're gonna no longer pull the veil over other people's eyes or over your eyes anymore i feel like this could be a period of time like where you may um just come clean and confess and just for some of you this also could just be being more like authentic your authentic self um is what i'm getting um i do see there could be public declarations um besides some of you dec decreeing like how you feel for another individual um with a public huge gesture i feel like for some of you there you know I, i'm getting the sense that maybe some of you may come out and um i feel like there's there's energy around someone gonna uh, come out and say that they cross dress um for other individuals i feel someone's gonna may come out and say that they are bisexual um and i also feel that there could be a declaration of someone actually just um revealing that they um have some type of special unique like gift or talent that they've never shared it's like something that someone practices or that they do um by themselves but i feel you know they're gonna make that very publicly like known so i feel this could just be a time of like confessions of you finally owning like maybe certain aspects of yourself that you've either been ashamed of or that you had to suppress or maybe that you've kept hidden for whatever particular reasons your own personal reasons or other types of means or manner 
that may have forced or led you to keep these certain characteristic traits or aspects or talents or gifts of yours hidden i just feel like you're just at a period of time where you're gonna like own who you are whatever that may be in whatever form or fashion or whatever form or facet or how that applies to whatever area of your life um but that's what i see you all if you would like to book a personal ses session with me you could go to my website www.divinelotustarot.com be blessed